Hey folks, this is Hutch with Freedom in a Can. And this is an update of our Renogy flexible solar panel installation. We installed these two 100 watt Renogy panels back in April of 2021 while we were boondocking in the mountains of the Arizona desert. We did our first review about three months later when we were boondocking along the coast of Maine for the summer. Now we're at nine months and over 9,000 miles. And I have to say, as I look around, I'm really pleased with the installation. Everything is in place. The panels might need a little bit of cleaning, but it's really looking good. Now we use corrugated plastic sheeting as an insulating material underneath the panels. We connected them via zip ties right through the grommets on the panels, and then use a combination of 3M and Turnabond tape and stainless steel screws to secure them down to the trailer. Now everything from the tape and the screws and the waterproofing that I put on top of that looks really good. The cable entry housing looks really good and we haven't had any water leaks, which is a number one, what you want. But let's talk about performance. For a variety of reasons, flexible panels just don't have the same street cred as their rigid cousins in the solar enthusiast world. We wanna look at some of the basic misunderstandings of this flexible panels and see if they apply to our setup. Installed in this way on the top of the trailer in this horizontal orientation, flexible panels are gonna have the same problem that rigid panels have, and that's not being able to get that optimized angle to the sunshine. Our portable panel is 100 watts, and at optimal conditions, it's pulling in about 85 watts in the field. By comparison, each 100 watt flexible panel is pulling in about 75 watts under similar conditions. So one of the things that Renogy claims is that their bumpy surface on the flexible panels increases the overall efficiency because they can help absorb light when the sun is at a low angle, collecting more energy in the early morning and late afternoon, as well as in the winter months. What we can tell you from experience is that these panels combined with our Rover Elite MPPT charge controller, which turns extra voltage into amperage, we are getting all the power we need to run our lives and our mobile business. In fact, usually the battery is topped off by late morning. We haven't seen any signs of delamination or even wear and tear. The panels look like they were installed last week. After nine months, 9,000 miles, extreme desert sun, summer torrential rain, snow, and even ice, everything is looking really, really good. Now, Renogy flexible panels come with the same warranty as their rigid counterparts. Five years on workmanship and 25 years on power output. While you can just glue and stick them down to the top of any trailer or RV, we recommend that you add a little bit of insulating layer underneath, like the quarter inch corrugated plastic that we use below here. If you do that, that'll allow a little airflow to prevent any overheating issues that you might have with the panel, and this will extend the panel's life. Now we've gone over 9,000 miles, many of those miles at highway speeds, and these solar panels have stayed in place. They're designed to handle 2,400 pascals of wind resistance and 5,400 pascals of snow load. So if you install them appropriately, you're gonna get years of service out of them. Now there's a lot of resources and videos out there on how to do an installation. If you wanna check ours out again, you can do that right here. Now while we haven't had to use these panels in this application, they are designed to bend up to 248 degrees, which makes them perfect for the curved roof lines of certain RVs, for boats, and any other curved roof line installation. So, time will tell. If we have the same performance and durability over the years as we've seen in the first nine months, but we still think that the benefits of installing flexible panels over rigid far outweigh any perceived compromise that we might have made. The first consideration is weight. Now, we have a 65 year old camper and we certainly didn't want to put a heavier pair of panels and some complicated bracket on top of this old roof line. At 4.2 pounds, 
compared to 14 and a half pounds of a rigid panel, the weight reduction is a no-brainer. And number two is roof line. Now we're certainly not vintage camper purists, but we do like that we've been able to maintain this low profile roof line. It probably contributes to a lower wind resistance and maybe better gas mileage, but that decision might be as much aesthetic as it is scientific. So thanks for checking in with us on our nine month review of our flexible solar panel installation. We've been really pleased with our performance and the durability of our installation, and it's really been a game changer. So if you want to see more videos about solar installation or road life, subscribe to the channel. You can reach out to us with questions on the comments section or through our website, freedominacan.com. And be sure to remember that you can get 10% off any Renogy purchase using our affiliate link and our promo code CANLIFE. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the road.